Australia's biosecurity system plays a crucial role in maintaining market access for our livestock and plant industries. Farm biosecurity covers a range of practices that help to keep Australian livestock and crops free of disease, pests and weeds. This short video provides a practical overview of farm biosecurity measures you can implement as part of your daily routine to minimise the risk of people moving around your property. Having a biosecurity regime doesn't have to be difficult or expensive. There are simple measures which you can take to protect your property. Farm biosecurity means everything to me. Uh, it's just uh, it's a very much a part of the whole toolkit that a farmer needs to have. People, including staff, suppliers, vets, agronomists, stock agents, contractors, itinerant workers and even your family and friends, can unintentionally carry disease, pests and weeds onto your property. It is important to restrict access to your property so you know when and where someone is on your land. It's a good idea to have only one entry point so that all movements on and off the property can be recorded. We manage visitors to the property in a very simple way. It's by appointment only. It is a business after all. You wouldn't rock up at your doctor's without making an appointment. So it should be the same on a farm as well. You should never assume that visitors know what you do. Instead, provide simple and clearly displayed signs that state your required biosecurity measures. Appropriate signage informs visitors that you take biosecurity seriously. Signs are also handy for showing people where they can and cannot go. Signs to designated visitor parking should be clearly visible from the entrance to the property. Visitors should be directed to a designated parking area away from livestock and crops and then report to the office or house to sign the visitor register. Visitor contact with livestock and plant production areas should only be allowed if it is necessary. Limiting visitor access as much as possible will minimise the risk to the health of plants and animals on your farm. It's a good idea to conduct a visitor risk assessment before you allow a person onto your property. Check whether they have recently been in contact with other livestock or crops, or whether they have recently returned from overseas. If a visitor is assessed as being high risk, you must implement appropriate measures to lower that risk. For example, by changing their clothing and washing their footwear, or provide them with alternatives. People mightn't realise that they can present a real threat to my operation, so I'd like to know where they've been and why they're coming, and deal with them accordingly. Make sure you keep a record of every visitor on your property, including details of their risk assessment. Record keeping gives government officials the ability to trace back or trace forward in the case of a disease, pest or weed outbreak. Bacteria, pests and weed seeds are often invisible to the human eye. They can be transferred on skin, clothing and footwear. This is why general hygiene is extremely important on a property. You can lower the risks significantly by washing your hands, cleaning your boots and ensuring your clothing is clean before and after coming into contact with plants or livestock in production areas. Avoid taking dirty work clothes or footwear off your property, particularly if you are visiting other properties. This has the potential to spread disease, pests or weeds. Be sure to follow the farm biosecurity requirements of any property when you visit and always try to minimise contact with other producers' livestock and produce. Ensure the staff on your property also understand your farm biosecurity requirements. Well, there are different types of visitors, uh, so we have to manage visitors according to the risks that they bring. The, the most important will be contractors because they are coming directly from other vineyards, other properties like ours in the district. Just general customers that come to the property um, can go for a walk through the vineyard. Um, we call it our gumboot tour because either they have to have their shoes cleaned um, because we have to remember that they might be coming from another wine region, they're interested in wine, other wine regions have pests that we're trying to keep out. So we either uh, spray off their shoes or we get them to change into our gumboots which are okay. Biosecurity is everyone's responsibility. If you see anything unusual on your property, call the Emergency Animal Disease Watch hotline on 1800 675 888 or the Exotic Plant Pest hotline on 1800 084 881. For more information, visit the Farm Biosecurity website at www.farmbiosecurity.com.au.